In this video, we're going to show you how to perform a drop measurement using the tilting stage. First, you open the syringe control dialog box. From there, you type in one UL or whatever amount you may want. After that, you hit go, which then dispenses the droplet. Next, you're going to open the tilt control dialog box. From here, you have a number of different functions that you can use to operate the tilting stage. The first buttons you see at the top of the dialog box, you have four manual arrow buttons that can tilt the stage forward and backwards at low or high speed. And in the middle, there's a pause button to halt the tilting stage at desired stage angle. Below the arrow controls to the left, you have the delay time before the dynamic image capture. To use this feature, you first have to open the dynamic image capture. Once it's open, you can set the desired delay time. Here we have set it to 5. To the right of this, you'll find the auto tilt controls containing the start tilt angle and ending tilt angle. Enter desired angles and then choose lower high speed and then hit go. Then lastly, hit the home button to bring the tilting base back to starting position. The feature we're going to display is Dynamic Auto Fast. First, you go to Options and select Dynamic Auto Fast. Then have open the Dynamic Image Capture and Tilt Control dialog boxes. Set your tilt control and dynamic image capture preferences, hit go, and then record on the dynamic image capture. With this feature, it's possible to capture up to 60 frames per second and makes the viewer able to see the advancing and receding contact angle.